Hey guys, how are you? Uh, here to talk to you about exponential surge and logistic modeling. Um, we've already gone over the other types of modeling right at the start of the year. Uh, these three are really important though to look at. Uh, you use them in calculus all the time. Um, there's some common things that we have to look at here. With exponential and logistic, we can do that on our calculators. Uh, however, with surge, we can't. So let's have a look at the different types of graphs and the questions that might be involved, uh, as well as their common forms, all right? So let's look at it now. The first one we're going to look at is a uh, exponential function. Um, these are otherwise known as growth and decay. Okay, so they go two ways, and probably the most common ones that we use. Um, their common form is a e to the k t. Okay, so y equals or, or something equals what a e to the k t where a is the original amount okay k is a constant and t is time usually okay so these things represent things like um, replication of bacteria radioactive decay things like that now they can go one of two ways they can either start and go up or they can start and go down. As we said before, growth of bacteria, radioactive decay. Again, this is the original amount, so this is what we class as A here. All right. How do we know that? Algebraically, if we chuck it in there, where t equals zero, so what do we start on? Y equals AE to the KT. Remember, t is zero. So that's going to equal AE to the 0 times K, which is 0, which equals AE to the 0, which is just A. All right? So that shows you that there. Now if we move on, the other, one we, the other ones we can look at now are what we call surge functions. Now we know Reezy loves surge functions, and they normally start here at 0. They grow to start with, and then they peter off pretty quickly. All right? So this is what we call a surge function. And this is given by... This is given by y equals a t e to the minus k t. Very similar to the exponential and growth, but we've got two lots of time functions in here. All right. The thing with uh, exponential decay is it not, not exponential decay with with this type with a surge function is generally it's used in things like medicinal doses uh, where there's an initial increase and then it peters off. When you did it last year in your math studies, you would have done the di with um, blood alcohol left in the body after drinking. How it breaks down. Uh, generally, it's it's all medicinal. Some key things to know here is the following: we have two points here, the maximum point which sort of comes down here, that's equal to 1 on k, and the point of inflection here is equal to 2 on k. All right, so just some things to know about the surge model is that, as I said before, the maximum is equal to 1 on k, and the, exp and the point of inflection is equal to 2 over k. All right, so that's our second one there. Generally, again, we chuck in the original amount where, or we look at where time equals zero. If I plug this in, um, we know that y equals a times zero e to the minus k times zero. And again, because we're times it by zero, who cares about this? It's going to equal zero. So initially, for a surge function, we start at the origin. Okay, there's nothing there. Then the patient would take the dose of whatever it is. We get this large, we get this spike happen. Once we get the spike, then obviously it then breaks down and takes a bit to get out of the body. All right. Last but not least is what we call a logist logistic function, and it looks like this. It starts off fairly slow, it increases quickly, and then it reaches an asymptote and peters out. All right. Normally we use this type of stuff for um, things like population growth. However, it's where population growth are limited by either things like resources or predators, all right? So we might be talking about um, population growth of humans on Earth. Obviously, it starts off slow. Then all of a sudden, we get this high acceleration. Then after the acceleration, we peter out. Why? Because the Earth runs out of resources, and we get this asymptote along here. Now, logistic function is given by, and this is a y equals c over... 1 plus a e 
to the minus kt. Now, throughout all of this, you might see k as b. Um, it doesn't matter. It's just a constant, uh, and it's put in there. Now, we have a look here. If we have a look at our point of inflection here, that's equal to ln a over 2, comma, c over 2. So obviously the height between the highest and the lowest points here is given by c. So this entire distance between here and here is given by c. All right. Um, this limiting fact, this limiting factor, can equal c as well sometimes. But that's what we just got to look at there. The ones you look at more commonly, um, as I said, exponential growth and decay. Surge comes in every now and then. Logistics normally a really good one. They put in table form and they make you do it and realize it's a logistic function. Those of you who do specialist maths uh, will have to deal with logistic functions a fair bit coming up later on. All right. And so, yeah, that's it really for exponential surge and logistic modeling. Um, we can look at a few examples if you want later on. Um, more than happy to go through it in class. Have a look at the textbook. Have a try and see how you go. Uh, apart from that, though, if you didn't understand it, watch the video again. And if you do have questions, please come and see me and we can work it out. All right. See you next time.